Dude! One year of making YouTube videos. Isn't that freaking crazy? I thought about doing a live stream and we watched my first ever video that I posted together, but uh, I watched like a video from like three months ago and it was so cringy and I was like, I can only imagine what my first video is. Cause I haven't seen it since I posted it, so. There's just no telling how bad it is. We'll save that for a different day. You guys wanted Q and A's instead. So, shower curtain reviews. What's your most forehand friendly desk for beginners in your opinion? How I started off, I had a Discraft Flick, board flat, crazy overstable, and I would throw everything like a baseball. I loved that because I knew no matter how I threw it, it was always going right. Kept doing that until I got my snap down, and then from there I kind of started kind of gradually getting less and less beefier, bringing my elbow in, and I just kind of, I learned that way. Zach Mead, best backhand tip for us that are trash at the backhands. So we have forehand and backhand now. Uh, I literally just kept on throwing backhands until I kind of got decent at it, and then I started recording myself and critiquing myself. So I guess the best tip, honestly, is record yourself, see what you're doing, and then you can compare that to whoever you're influenced by, whether it be Simon, Kevin, Paul. OVH, can you agree with this statement? The Zone OS is a great disc you love to have in the bag, but happy if you don't. I would bag a flip-flop before I bag a Zone OS. I'm sorry, I just, all this like crazy over stable stuff, dude, just does not make any sense to me. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, Dan Jones, any hit, dude, man came with questions. Any hidden talents? Nah, they're all hidden. Nah, I'm just kidding. I can, uh, what's a hidden talent I got? I can jump over my leg and I can juggle. I can juggle. You ready for this? I can juggle. What do you and Emily do for fun besides coffee dates? Let's see. We play a lot of pickleball. We're getting back into that. I just got her into throwing the glitch. We've been tossing the glitch back and forth. She enjoys doing that. Hiking, anything outdoors we both love to do. Coffee dates are bomb though. We do do a lot of coffee dates. Uh, are you good at bowling or basketball? Uh, I feel like I'm pretty good at all around sports. I mean, I can definitely bowl. I can play basketball. I'd rather play basketball than bowl though. Bowling is not as much fun. I like more like high intensity sports, which is odd because I'm like this golf. Dream car or truck? Oh, dude, that's tough. My first ever car I had was a Jeep Cherokee XJ. It's like a 99. Freaking love that thing and I want to get another one so bad. But I think I'm going to get like a Toyota Tacoma or a Tundra, I think. There is talks of me getting like a like an RV that I carry behind, so. That's it for the questions, let's jump into the vlog. I don't really have a plan for today's vlog, so I'm going to buy a disc from the store. Here in this bike shop, they've got a little tiny disc golf selection, so let's see what we can find. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you though. They really don't have that good of a selection. Um, I've actually been wanting to try some of this stuff out. This man put his circle one percentage stats on that. Oh, these are Undertakers? The Undertaker was like my first Discraft disc that I really liked. I got it. It's pretty sick. Like I said, doing a giveaway with this on Twitter, so make sure you guys are following me over there. The boy's verified now. Apparently people in the real world though don't understand how this fame works. Like I tried to go get coffee the other day. It's gonna be 425. I'm verified on Twitter. Uh, do you want it to be eight dollars? Like I literally have a blue check mark. What is your deal? Nine holes of this bad boy and then I'll giving it away on Twitter. Be sure to check it out. This thing bombs by the way. Look at that, bombs. I hope that's not in the water. Thank God, I thought I was in that water. We're all good though. Twitter's a fun little place. It's not for everyone though, I will tell you that. Like if you can handle a bunch of very ignorant, toxic, hateful people, then you should definitely check out Twitter and give me a follow. But if that kind of stuff easily offends you, don't do it. That was a terrible shot. Dig in those trees and fall down, baby check like for example the other day on twitter i said you will never catch me rolling a card on the disc golf course boy i made mp 40 50 67 every person above the age of 40 angry oh which is fine like it didn't bother me but it's oh dude it was so funny i had this one old dude dm me boy if you say one more thing about them carts i oughta but you can't take it serious like you just can't because people will say some very hateful things on there and you just gotta you just got to understand that it's just internet people. Internet people and real life people, two totally different things. Climb that hill, baby. Oh no. Maybe this disc sucks. All right, enough of that Twitter talk. On to more important things. Oh, like how I can't putt. Oh yeah, but my driving though? Oh, never mind. that's so short. Quick adjustment, a little higher, aim left. 
All right, a little higher, still right. Noted. 270 feet right between those trees. I'm about to send this thing humming at the basket. <sighs> what the? F That's a terrible shot. Dude, I'm literally inside the circle. I thought I was like 70 long. And I still suck. By the way, today's my anniversary. Me and the wife are gonna get some barbecue, drink some wine. Forehand flex down this middle gap. Can I do it? We shall see. Oh, yes, sir. I think it's on the pole. That is crazy. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. I literally thought I was right here, but I'm right here. Still not bad. Like a 15 footer. My arch nemesis, to be honest. All right, you guys will be able to win this on Twitter if I can survive this next hole. We've been getting a lot of rain, so this water is up to the rim. Oh, what in the world, Nate? I mean, it's safe, but dang, I hate that. That was so anti-climatic. Anti hey, I'll throw this, though. How about that? Turn, 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 turn. Hmm. That was a little better. The putter was actually pretty close. The Undertaker, I freaking bailed out. I wussied out, I apologize. I think this is like 60 feet. I ain't scared. Oh, all right, you guys can kind of see the basket. I can't from the tee pad, lucky you guys. But just a nice Stockheiser, 310 feet. That actually looks pretty good. I don't want to get in the way. Did it go in? A. These little 15, 20 footers, money right now. All right, let's end this on a banger. Get the birdie on this par four and then go eat some BBQ. See ya. Meet you at the barbecue place. Basket's hiding behind the tree that's hiding behind the electrical box for those of you who are new to the channel. For those of you who are some OGs, you know exactly where the basket's at. No way. This was supposed to be a banger of a birdie on a par four. This is not going as planned. Oh, whatever, dude. Hey, really quick, this is me jumping over my leg. You ready? Can I go backwards? No, I'm scared. 